Hello friends, so we will continue our discussion related to Scalar triple product. So in this video we are going to discuss about another concept associated with Scalar triple product which is co-planner vectors. So basically what it means is that vectors which lie or which are in the same plane okay so vectors which lie in the same plane and how we can identify it using scalar triple product so scalar triple product of three vectors a vector b vector c vector which is written as a vector dot b vector cross c vector or a vector cross b vector dot c vector if this result is equal to 0 then it means that the three vectors a vector b vector and c vector they are co-planner okay they are co-planner vectors lying in the same plane now already <clears throat> we have discussed how scalar triple product is uh, we can represent it as the volume of parallel piped okay like this Okay, the volume of parallel piped. Okay, where well, let's say these are the three vectors A vector, B vector, and C vector. So the scalar triple product it gives us the volume of parallel piped okay so if these three vectors they lie in the same plane then the volume of the structure it will be zero because then it will be 2d two dimensional not three dimensional if they lie in the same plane it means it's two dimensional okay the three dimension the third dimension uh, is not there which means the volume of the parallel pipe is zero, which means they are co planar vectors. Okay, so this is the physical significance, the geometrical interpretation of scalar triple product, which can be used to determine the volume of the three dimensional structure the parallel piped and also to identify co-planar vectors that is three vectors which lie in the same plane okay so when the scalar triple product it is equal to zero it means that the vectors are co-planar and this is the essential condition okay so this is it so here is a question on coplanar vectors it is given or it is asked to show that the vectors three vectors i cap minus 3j cap plus 4k cap 2i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap and 4i cap minus 7j cap plus 10k cap they are coplanar so we have to show it so we know that by definition if the scalar triple product of these three vectors let's say this is a vector this is b vector and this is c vector so the scalar triple product a vector b vector c vector if it is equal to 0 then 
the vectors are coplanar. So in determinant form it will be 1 the x, y and z components minus 3, 4, 2, minus 1, 2, then 4, minus 7, 10. It should be equal to 0. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's check whether it is 0 or not. So this is equal to 1 into minus 1 into 10 minus 2 into minus 7 and minus of minus 3 into 2 into 10 minus 2 into 4 then minus 4 into 2 into minus 7 minus minus 1 into 4. So this is equal to 1 into minus 10 minus minus 14 which is equal to minus 10 plus 14 then minus of minus 3 which is plus 3 into 20 minus 8 then minus 4 into 2 into minus of minus 14 minus of minus 4 which is minus 14 plus 4 so that is equal to 1 into 4 plus 3 into 12 minus 4 uh, this is a uh, okay minus 4 into so here it will be plus 4 okay it's plus 4 not minus 4 by mistake I have done minus 4 so it will be plus 4 okay so it's a mistake in a hurry such mistakes can happen so please be careful okay like I have made this mistake here of putting it minus 4 okay so it's plus 4 so this becomes plus 4 into minus 14 plus 4 which is minus 10 so this becomes 4 plus 36 minus 40 which is 40 minus 40 which is equal to 0 so as the result of the scalar triple product it is equal to 0 so by definition these vectors are coplanar vectors so again be careful while, while putting the sign when you are in a hurry when you make calculations in a hurry like I did uh, such mistakes can happen one plus and minus here and there and the whole result will be wrong okay so this is the result so we have uh, got the result as zero so it means the vectors are coplanar